What these white liberals done did now? Got another black person just letting y'all know, look, God dang it, back up. <laughs> you don't speak for me. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. What they say now? They don't know how to find the uh they don't know how to find a voting booth. What? They don't know how to find the DMV. Um, they don't know how to find a grocery store. They don't know where the produce section is. That's why they're not eating right. <laughs> They don't know where the vegetables are. That's why they're not eating right. Yes, in the ghetto, they don't have vegetables. <laughs> I just now seen a video like that the other day, man. It was absolutely hilarious. It was from Waters um, from Fox News. All right, so this is another black lady who is confronting white liberals on their hypocrisy. And they might be talking about the attack that the pro-abortionists have been doing um, with the violence and everything that's going on. But then when they turn around and say, hey, y'all was too violent on January 6th, man. You're not supposed to be violent. You're supposed to be calm. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. Okay, let's get to it. My point was that black kids in Chicago get killed every single day. Where is the Black Lives Matter in Chicago? Where are they? When black people that is true. That is true. Where are they? Where are they? Huh? I'm not going to do a whole bunch of talking. I just want to know where are they? Because, I mean, they only pull up unless, I mean, okay, who just now got shot? Okay, how old were they? Were they under five? They was under five? Uh, we got the budget to go out there. I would think we get some people together so we go march right quick, boom. Oh, you got something to do? You're going to Vegas. Huh. All right, we'll come out. All right, let's just write them a good letter or something like that. Huh? Put them on the, put them on the internet, you know, a couple of hashtags. What's her name? And then put her name on a hashtag. And that'd be all they do. That's it. They get a hashtag and a T-shirt. That's it. That's all they get. Where is the Black Lives Matter in Chicago? Where are they? When black people kill black people, they don't come out and do this crap. The only time they do this crap is when a white person touches them. They're the racist. They're the racist. Because hey, she is she is firing them up. When a white person touches them, they're the racist. She said, you are the racist. They are the racist. You are the because racist. Because white, white cops, it's wrong for a white cop to kill a black person, that's for sure. But if it matters, it should matter at all times. So what are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? You are not here to fight injustice. You're here to cause drama. A better message will be stop violence. It's not about blacks. In a unicorn world. That's not a unicorn world. Period. Okay, sit your soul. You get it. So you blacks are oppressed. I am black. I'm not oppressed. That's I am for you. free. <laughs> ding 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 ding, and she has won, ladies and gentlemen. She has won. Drop the mic. I dropped the mic again. Yeah, she dropped the mic, man. She, I am free. I'm free. You out here fighting for who you fight for? You fight for me? I'm free. And a lot of the people that you claim to be fighting for, guess what? They got their freedom too. Sit your soul. You get it. So you black so oppressed. I am black. I'm not oppressed. That's I am for free. That's good for you. That's an individual person. What about a systemic issue? Where? I am black. I've always wanted to be. I have a like. I do what I want. You have the skills. This is a country where you have the skills. You want to do what you want. You do it. Stop. Stop forcing on people to accept that they're oppressed. They are not. I am not oppressed. I am black. Stop. Oh, I love her. I love her. She's like, mm. <laughs> I don't. But what about systemic? She's like, what? I do what I want to do. I'm. I'm good. I'm free to do whatever I want here. What are you talking about? Like, I'm not oppressed. Oh, did you want me to? Did you want to remind me of something I should feel bad about? Is that what you want? You 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 want to talk to me right quick so you can tell me like a few things, a bunch of things that you think I should feel like I'm a victim of? Is that what you want to do? So I can be on your side? Yeah, like yeah, I'm oppressed. Cause she said it. <laughs> that white lady right there, she said it, and she told me what you say again. Why am I why am I oppressed? Slavery. Okay. All right. All right, what they close? They close Burger King, man. This people are just crazy, man. I swear to goodness, man. Okay, okay. Forcing on people to accept that they're oppressed. They are not. I am not oppressed. I am black. Stop making people accept that they're oppressed. You're forcing a rhetoric into your mind, which is not true. 
That's my point. Okay. Violence is wrong, period. It's not about blacks. Of course. You agree that whites kill black whites too, right? Of course. Have you seen any white person come out and saying white life matter or white thing? No, they violence do. is wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, hey lady, you are you are preaching. And uh yeah, you are preaching. Hey, what's it coming out and saying white life matter or white thing? No, they violence do. is wrong. They literally do all the time. Every time there's a black lives matter protest, problem. a white person a black problem. It's a violence problem. The blacks kill blacks in black neighborhoods every single day. I've never seen a black life matter in those neighborhoods. Never. Never. You know what they say? When the black Oh, she said, then you're not looking hard enough. Come on, lady. Come on, lady. You ain't in nobody's hood after after um, after um black on black crime. You ain't in nobody's hood holding up no Black Lives Matter signs. Stop lying. You're not looking hard enough. You're not looking hard enough. No, you're not listening hard enough. You're not listening. You need to listen to what she's saying. These neighborhoods where it's happening is where me and my family are living. And y'all not around there. You're not out there. You're not. Y'all can care less about that. If it's not tied to any type of, you're you're saying that the that the white lady is saying that the black lady is bringing a whole bunch of drama to the situation, and but the one thing that the liberal is not understanding is that she and her organization is bringing up is drumming up all all of the drama in order for them to be able to sensationalize whatever they're trying to sensationalize so that they can get known and get more funds and and it feeds somebody's pocket so essentially this lady is out there doing the work of those who are eat, uh, eating good and living real fat right now that's what they're doing oh you're not looking hard enough you're not looking hard enough okay then lady um when was the last um violent crime in one of those neighborhoods where you were up on this you were on the scene i'll wait you can't name one you can't name one. Neighborhoods. Never. Never. You know what they say? When the black person kill a black in a black neighborhood, they come out and they say, when the police comes, do you know what they tell the police? Stitches get stitches. That is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you cannot snitch on anybody in the uh, in the black neighborhood at all. You can't. Or you will get thine stitches if thine snitch it. All right? And, uh, well... That's just a saying, but you'll get something probably worse than stitches if you snitch on anybody who committed that type of crime. Um, don't tell on such and such because the person who committed the crime should be protected, not the person that passed away from the crime, not the person that you know got the short end of the stick. Nah, not them. The person that did it, we need to protect them. So don't you say nothing. We need to keep that in-house. And by keeping that in-house, what does that mean? That mean that if they kill somebody, then whoever's supposed to kill them will kill them. They'll get rid of each other the way that they're supposed to get rid of each other. Because that's the only type of that's the only type of law that comes with that. Don't snitch. It's gonna get taken care of in, in, in the inside. And then it goes on and on and on. Everybody's killing each other. Be right across the street from each other. We don't like you, we don't like you. Bow, 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 bow. So it's it's ridiculous. I know that. Okay. Snitches get stitches. But if a white person kill a black person, black life matter. Stop the hypocrisy. Nobody takes this seriously. Nobody. If it matters, it should matter in black neighborhoods. You start cleaning at home. So why don't you go? Why you start don't you start? cleaning at home. Why don't you start? I'm not carrying anything saying black life matter. I know I matter. Why don't you start? Ah, oh, why don't you start? Why don't you start? I'm not going to go saying black lives matter. I know that I matter. There's the difference. I know my life matters. None of you are out here walking around with a sign that says my life matter. I'm confident enough and I believe in, in um, this country enough and what I've done enough and what I'm doing right now to know that my life matters. And I don't need you. To be out here yelling at and faking like you you represent me when you clearly don't. Because if you did represent me, guess what you wouldn't be doing? You wouldn't be arguing with me about my uh, my viewpoint. I mean, you are out here for my life, right? If you're out here for my life, shouldn't you probably listen to some things that I'm, tell I'm telling you right now? That, that makes sense to me. 
It makes it makes great sense to me. You can learn a lot. You're talking to somebody that you claim to represent right now. You know what I mean? I think my life matter. That's it. I think my life matter. You're gonna sit there and argue with me and tell me that it don't, and I need to be. Why don't you start? Why don't you start? I'm not carrying anything saying black lives matter. I know I matter. Why don't you start? You guys are wasting everybody's time. Okay? Black you black more than any race. Where's the black lives matter? Where is the black life mother? Uh, I am free. Don't try to make me believe I'm My point was Yeah, they said that's not true. That's not always accurate. They try to here, here they go. We're just waiting for you to say one thing that we can possibly debunk. Because what she said was more black people kill black people than any other race are killing other races inside of this country. Um is that true? I'm asking you all, is that true? Because someone said that that was not true. They said, that's not true. Because they was waiting for that one that one lie. Oh, I know one lie. Something's going to come out. Ooh, some inaccuracy is going to come out. Something that I can debunk because I'm ready. I'm waiting for that one thing. Okay, she did say she's black. Okay, I can't say nothing about that. She says she's not oppressed. All right, well, I can't say nothing about that. Who am I to tell her that she's oppressed? Ah, right, she says she got freedom. Okay, I can't say anything about that because she does have freedom. Oh, she said that more oh, black people are killing black people. Oh, I'm in there now. That's not true. And then to find out that nine times out of ten, it probably is that on true. Thank you, young lady. You did a great job. You did a great job. I wish they would have listened more and talked less. I wish the lady who was in that video goes back and look at this video so she can see again for herself the hypocrisy that was coming out of her mouth. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video and hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing, man, per usual. Love y'all.